Yo, what's up there guys? It's Immersive Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today we've got another game up and running in virtual reality and it's working amazing. This game is called Deadfall Adventures and it's actually pretty expensive on Steam but if you go on eBay you can pick it up for a tenner and uh, on Steam it's like 35 quid or something so uh, yeah, you're saving yourself £25 by going elsewhere. Just make sure if you do buy it from somewhere else make sure they've got a reputable feedback score. Okay, so without further ado Let's get this going on. I'll show you some of this awesome shit. My great grandfather, Alan Quater. Look at the state of it. His name, a byword for adventure. To my main source of income. A lot of people paid for it. Looks lovely. Really, really beautiful. Keep your eyes on the road, love. Our informant among the Nazis briefed us to try to get into the temple. This is fantastic. Had a, a little bit of a problem with the dynamic shadows, so the main shadows are good. But I had to turn the uh, dynamic shadows off, unfortunately. Look at this, look at that. Oh. Bit of a judder there, I think that was the uh, the plane kicking in. Runs really well. It's maxed out 16 times. Anti-Ali anti is in. Everything apart from dynamic shadows is on. Maxed out. This is superb. Alrighty then. So, this has actually got a native slider, which goes all the way up to 120. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame turning the dynamic shadows off. Like this truck would normally have a shadow based on where the, sh the sun is, but when when before it was like a big square and it was only in one eye, so I had to turn dynamic shadows off in the any file. You couldn't do it in the menu. Um, but all the other shadows look great, fantastic. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, what we got here? Take the map. That looks like a plan. Okay, so got a nice little map going on what else we got cigar this game looks lovely I can't believe how nice it looks um, so far though her voice acting seems subpar hello I'm not even sure where we're supposed go to go get what we came here for and get out. wow like sound of that. it looks amazing look at that look at that so tap the right stick to crouch. So are we crouching under there? Okay. Good stuff. This looks, look at that. Look at that. That looks fantastic. I'm really bad. I'm a bit of a pervert for them sorts of sun shards that come through. Really look lovely. What the fuck? Okay, so we've got dual wielding. What the fuck? Okay, alright, he went down relatively easy, which is cool. She's getting sprayed up by automatic gunfire. Come on, I suppose I better do something about it and. Alright, love. Nice ass. Oh. So I guess I'm some sort of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is going on there. I'm not really checking my ammo count. I can't really see my bar down there, to be honest. But I do have access to Edge Peak. I don't think there's anything on there, which is fine though. Oops, press A to switch to. Oh, what we got here? Rifle? Can I get that? Oh, oh. This is very nice. I should have probably took that out. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Let's see how if we, she gets the sun shards as well. Yeah, she gets her very own sun shards. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. 
She's got orange eyes. She's a fucking vampire. Mm, I like the rifle. This looks epic. Really, really nice. 3D is lovely. It's not in your face, as uh, tends to be the case with the profiles I make in uh, Vireo. I'd be happy to do a playthrough. I can not see a thing in here. I've turned the brightness right down because things tend to look a lot nicer in virtual reality. With the uh, brightness turned down, things look a lot more sort of the blacks look deeper and everything just looks a lot nicer to be honest. But I'm probably going to walk and fall in some holes, do you know what I mean? So uh, I might need to turn the brightness up. It does look beautiful though. Yeah, I might need to just turn my brightness up a sec. One sec, guys. Uh, gamma. That should do it. Okay, so I can kind of see at least a little bit about what's going on. Oh, look. Hieroglyphics all on the wall. These places are so interesting. And I've never played a game like this where you actually go and uh, experience sort of like... Yeah, pretty much it. This is pretty much Indiana Jones, to be honest. Would you mind activating the elevator? All right. All right. So from what I gather as well, there's going to be like some sort of like whoa ghouls and stuff, mummies, I imagine. This is so cool. Your voice acting is shocking. Why do we need to bring it here? If my research is correct, the tier of ice is to allow us to open the gate. Wow, look at this. This game is so interesting. I might get maybe she'll grow on me, do you know what I mean? Maybe she'll grow on me, but for now she I find her a little bit annoying. Goat heads. I'm thinking flick back. Oh, I can hear spiders. I don't like it. Especially since I can't fucking see him. What we got over there? Oh, uh, I've got some nice electric torches. Sort of lamps lit, lighting up the uh, beautiful Egyptian structures over there. I've got some, was that Ra? Ra dogs? Dogs and, oh, uh, cats. got some ca dogs and cats. Cats are supposed to be uh, sacred. Can I pick that up? That I'll tell you what, if I was in this crypt right now, I can promise you I'd be picking up that torch so I could fucking see. Looks like we're not sort of in a Skyrim environment. Oh, so looks like I can do some here. Maybe I've got to bang some in there. The what are the honors? That looks pretty fantastic. Pick up the tear of Isis. I should probably listen to what she's got to say rather than checking her out, you know. Let's have a look. Tear of Isis. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, the reward for finding it belongs in a bank account. A little bit of a cut scene there. My head's uh, not got control. Oh wow! What? What? I'm guessing that's not a good thing. Yeah. So really, this is just. Uh, oh, I won't interrupt him. I can't see a thing. Oh, there we go. Gotta love the cutscenes. Wakey, wakey. The Germans are coming. Good morning, Mr. Quartermain. Always a pleasure to meet a man of such honest uh. extraction, even under these unfortunate circumstances. The Nazis, man. So, this pretty much is Indiana Jones, to be honest. 
I'm expecting fucking Sean Connery just to burst through the door in his fucking Jeep. Bit of an uncomfortable scene this is, the fact that I can't move my head. Um, I'm sure that like, if you went in edge peak mode it'd be a bit better for you guys that are not so used to VR. Are we back? So there we go. We've been placed into a cell. So I've, I've had my weapons taken away. All right now would be the time to pick up the torch. Yeah. Why can't I pick up the torch? Because it's pitch black. I don't want to go down this corridor. I'm fucking scared. <gasps> I really am scared. Oh, these noises are creeping me out. Got no weapons either. This looks like it could be a really good game. W why did the Germans leave us here? Why didn't they just like execute us? Oh look. Probably wouldn't make for much of a good game, would it? Press to use a notepad. Notepad. All right. Very nice. Can I put the notepad away then? Compass, lovely. Wonder how useful that compass is, and whether you do actually have to find your way. I'm guessing that, like, if I tread on these, these are going to fall down. Because considering we've got like a corpse, he's been. S oh yeah. Okay. So a notepad. So there's a slab with an eye. I'm just going to have a quick look just to make sure I can see it completely. All right, so we've got an eye. Alright, yep, yeah, that's the thing there. So don't tread on the snakes. Or you get stabbed. Alright, okay, so. The snake, so I'm guessing I can step on this one. And then I can step on this one. Mm. I can step on that one that one jump over to that one that one that one okay so that wasn't that difficult to be honest I'm sure they'll get tougher lost uh, yeah I'm not gonna go too far you know this is amazing this is, oh wow We've got a blue little flashing things up there Hopefully they're not zombies or mummies. This looks so beautiful. It's probably a good point to call it though, to be honest. So, uh, you know, just wanted to show you guys how well this profile works. This game is, um, yeah, it looks like a bit of a shooter slash puzzle game. Could be quite exciting, almost like, uh, yeah, I'll get the Indiana Jones vibe from it, but What's that? What, yeah, what's that other game? We've got it's got Drake, Drake's Fortune, and that Uncharted, but uh, that's a third-person game. It's probably like a poor man's Uncharted, to be honest. But if you like first-person games, I can't play third-person anymore because I can't play on a flat screen, which is a big shame because I used to like the old games. Uh, you know, but in 3D they look pretty good. That was one of the native uh, PS3 games, to be honest. It was pretty cool. But it's just a shame because VR killed it for me, man. I can't play. I can't play them games anymore. Just don't get the same sort of satisfaction. I mean, now I feel like I'm actually sort of in this place. The, the only problem with this profile I've made is that it hasn't got any positional tracking. You know, um, the guys at Vireo are making a tutorial soon, so we can add VR boost profiles ourselves. Once we've done that, I think I can make some pretty good profiles. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call it on this one, guys. That's Immersive Game 83. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see a playthrough, let me know in the comments, you know, and uh, I'll definitely consider it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye bye.